What is up, guys? Chris Jardine here, a.k.a. Snaggle J, community and content developer for Out of the Park Baseball, back with another episode of our Snaggle and the Mets franchise. Despite what Twitch wants you to think, because for some reason I can't get the title and the game to work properly. I think it might be right now. I don't even know, but who cares? We're here. It's a beautiful Thursday night. Back here with our Mets franchise in the 2022 season. If you guys have missed any of the previous episodes of the franchise, make sure you head over to youtube.com slash O2P developments. They are all in a handy dandy playlist right there as you can check out the first 19 episodes. To bring you guys up to speed, it is just after the All-Star Game in 2022. As you can see, well, it's covered by my face, but you can also see way over on the left-hand side of the screen, we are 60 and 35, seven and a half games up in the National League East. We have made some interesting maneuvers, um, a bit of a youth movement. We've got Luis Guinacocha up playing left field first now, the 20-year-old. We also have Ronnie Mauricio at shortstop, um, and we're doing pretty good, chat. We have done pretty much this entire season. Well, we have done the entire season without Syndergaard, and Cole has been out. For quite a while, but both Garrett Cole and Noah Syndergaard are on rehab assignments. They are almost ready to come back as we make the push into the 2022 latter half of the season. Uh, we're going to take a look and see if we need to make any upgrades as we head towards the trades. First up, let's take a look and see what the status of Syndergaard and Cole is. Cole has 12 days left on his rehab assignment. Um... He has pitched three games. His last game, he gave up three hits, three runs, three walks, eight Ks. He just pitched yesterday. Uh, we look at Syndergaard. Syndergaard, pitching stats, game log. Um, last time out, he threw seven no-hit innings with a walk and eight Ks. I think it's safe to say Noah Syndergaard might be ready to make his uh, return. What is going on over here? Oh, because he's in the minors, maybe? Huh. Because we look right now at our pitching staff. I mean, these guys have held it down pretty good. Dustin May's been great. Tristan McKenzie's been great. Colby Allard having an amazing season. He doesn't strike out a lot of guys, but he has been pitching absolutely fantastic for us. Alex Reyes is back. Uh, we're hoping he can somewhat keep it together. Sonny Gray, the veteran. Has been pitching great. Our bullpen's been absolutely late. So we are in a we have good problems to have, chat. Good problems to have that we have way too much quality starting pitching right now. Um so we are coming out where our first game is today. So I mean, realistically. All right, let's look at this. So we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. Because we need to get Syndergaard back in there. He's ready to rock and roll. Um, so, I mean, we have Allard. What are we doing with Chris Flexen right now? Flexen's pitching in the bullpen? Yikes. Probably going to have to get rid of Chris Flexen, and I don't think I can send him down. Oh, I can send him down. Sweet. So, Thor is back. Now, the question is, who do we take out of the rotation to accommodate? It's got to be Reyes, right? Or it's got to be Sonny Gray, I guess. Sonny Gray's pitch good, but the whip is high. BABIP is low. I think we move Gray to the bullpen. And we move everybody here down a spot. Is Dustin May ready to rock and roll? He is. So we'll start Dustin May coming out of the break, and then we'll put Syndergaard back in the one spot, and we'll see what happens. Well, and like I said, Gray's peripheral is not great. I mean, almost four walks per nine. K's are low, and he's not going to be able to maintain that batting average on balls in play. So... Now, I would, I wonder if we should, we put Syndergaard on a pitch count? With how good our bullpen is, should we put Syndergaard on like a, like a 85 pitch count? No, we're just going to let him go, right? 
All right. So we're going to roll with that. We're going to let Cole get one more start in the minors and see what happens. I believe there is a cat trying to intimidate me into opening the door. He might hit me with the hammer. Very good point. Um, I guess the other thing, well, we can look at it in, in a week's time. Because if we simulate to next week, it's only going to go a few days. We do need to look at if we need, if we need to make any trades. We need to look at if we need to make any trades. So we come out of the break, two and one, good place to start. So realistically, I mean, Mike Trout on the struggle bus, batting average wise, he's still OPS in 800. I mean, we're, we're set at second, we're set in left, we're set at third, we're set at first with Jordan. The only thing I could look at is, I mean, Joey Bart has been struggling. He continues to struggle. Like for me, I don't really see any immediate spots where I'm like, I got to go out and get an upgrade. And here's the thing. We look at our front office. We look at right now we have a bit of money left. We could make an acquisition if we needed to. If we really needed to make an acquisition, we could. We should also... Bump the ticket price up a little bit. I mean, we're selling out like every game right now. So we go to finances, salaries. Right now you see already under contract for next year. We've got Cole, Trout, Syndergaard, Navarro, but they're all on cost control with what we have. Sonny Gray has a team option. We're not going to pick that up. Verdugo gets a bit of a bump. Senzel gets a bit of a bump. Nakayama has an opt out, which I have to I have to imagine Nakayama is going to exercise that opt out and demand a significant raise. Um, Colby Allard is going to be arbitration eligible. That could be a problem. But realistically, we only have 185 million estimated committed. That includes like our Arab estimates because Guriel going to get a bit of a bump. A lot of these Arab guys are cheap. So we have some money to spend if we need to. But the question is, do we want to? I don't really think we need to. Like, that's my thing. Look at some guys that are available on the trading block. Uh, a lot of relievers. Corey Knebel, Blake Trainin, Ryan Presley. Juan Ramirez is starting pitcher for the White Sox. He's a 35-year-old Cuban. What's he getting? What's he making? 20 million? Yikes. No merci. Drew second rider. Lots of closers. What's going on, Shonzo? How you doing, bud? Uh lots of lots of relievers. Gary Sanchez is available. If we were looking for another option behind the plate. He's making $16.6 million on an expiring deal. Hmm. It's only hitting 214 this year. I mean, that's not much of an upgrade over what we have. A roll, this is uh a roll this on a five hundred and fifty thousand dollar deal. Oh, I mean, look, he's been awful. He has more walks than K's. Yikes. Got Puig out there. Puig's on an 18 mil, 18 mil next year as well. Having a really bad season. So, I mean, in terms of trading block, not a whole heck of a lot that makes me want to jump up and be like, yep. Why do I have beta version on my screen? That shouldn't be there. Oops. Oh, well. This week in Perfect Team, leftovers. Castellanos having a pretty good year. What's he up to? $10 million for the rest of the year. 
It's hitting 276, OPS in 908, has 25 homers, 13 doubles. It's lots of strikeouts, so lots of strikeouts. And the thing is, is that, I mean, is he really an upgrade over what we have? I mean, Verdugo's playing well. Like, this might be one of those things where we're like, hey, we might just stick with what we got. Ronnie Mauricio is out for a couple weeks. Trade proposal. Try Pedro B. Gonzalez. Steven Nagasek. No. It's not a trade. Syndergaard in his first game. How'd he do? Six innings, four hits, two runs. Walk, five Ks, no decision. Only threw 72 pitches, though. Easing back into it. Look at Nakayama. 2.4. Four. Stud. 97 strikeouts. 13 wins, by the way. What a hero. I think we might just stay, stand pat at the trade deadline. I mean, unless we have an earth-shattering... I mean, I'm okay. I think we stand pat at this point. Oh, see, well, today is the trading deadline and we just lost our starting shortstop for seven weeks. I had to go say it out loud. Alrighty then. All right, well, let's go rosters and transactions. And let's go Mauricio, DL, 10 day. Uh, that'll let us bring Cole back into the rotation. We'll have to send a pitcher down, but I don't know who it's going to be yet. Zamora, maybe. No, he's been too good. We may end up having to ship a starting pitcher out of here to make a move. All right. So now we're in the market for a shortstop. That has become obvious all of a sudden. I don't think we have anybody else in the system. How's uh, Jeans Garcia doing? 247? Not great. Early, though. It's early. He just got traded, you know. We don't want to push him. Where's... um. Salinas. How's Salinas doing? Salinas is turning around a little bit. He's up to 238 now. Pantalones Garcia get it together. He will. I'm not worried. Jaden Brown. We're going to have to make a trade. As much as I don't want to make a trade, we're going to have to make a trade. So, we need hitters. We need short stops. Might have to get someone on a rental. How many did that come up with? We need to get someone on a rental. Like a Johan Camargo, for example. Oh, but I need someone who can play good defense at short. I want, I want like a 55 defense at short. That narrowed it down in a hurry. Anybody on a one year left? Uh, could we get Ahmed back? Ahmed Rosario reunion tour? Just in time for the playoffs? No, the D backs aren't offering Chisholm. He just matches the criteria that I have. I'm just searching for players of that criteria, so. That Chisholm just happens to be 55 plus defense, 50 plus contact, 40 plus power, uh, 45 overall, 45 potential, and the shortstop. Uh, DD Gregorius has two years left. That's not ideal. 
Uh, Adalberto Mondesi has is in the last year of his deal. Might be worth a rental. Trey Turner could be worth a rental too. So here's Turner. Good, great speed. Positive role model, inner division guy. Uh, Rosario, known commodity guy we had for years. Great defense, good speed. And other option is Adalberto Mondesi. He doesn't have any. He's, man. He's going to, oh, he's going to be Arab eligible another time? He is. He just happens to be on a one-year deal. Turner arbitration eligible, or is he straight up FA? He is straight up FA. Man, I feel like Trey Turner is kind of the play. He only qualifies at short at this point, though. Go away, cat. Hang on, guys. Go have a rest. Cat wants to lay down, which was fine. All right, so let's see what we're going to need to do here. What, what do they want for Turner one for one? Bart Garcia, Guiracocha, May, Mackenzie, Nakayama, Navarro, Reyes, Syndergaard, Trey Verdugo. Man, we could get rid of Alex Reyes. I just. I'm so worried that Reyes is never going to figure it out. I mean, like he'll have flashes of greatness and then flashes of absolute control foolishness. Like, like, look at this. You look back to last year, 16 starts, 113 strikeouts in 79 innings. So much potential there. What else did they want? May and McKenzie, I get that. I don't really want to trade either of those guys. I don't really want to trade Jeans. Um, I'd rather trade, like, well, I would rather trade May or McKenzie, I guess. But, I mean, they're kind of the young cornerstones of my rotation right now. You have a rotation of May, McKenzie, um, you have a rotation of May, McKenzie, uh, Cole, Allard, and Syndergaard. I mean, we're set for life there. So let's go back and see if Ahmed Rosario ends up being a little more affordable for us. Uh, no, same, same group pretty much. <sighs> Rosario's not. He is arbitration one more time too. So they're going to be less likely to want to part with him for us. Uh, Turner is a straight up rental. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the prospects. We're going to, have to trade prospects. I don't want to trade anybody from the major league roster right now. I can't be. I can't be brought to do it. I feel like maybe it's time we moved on from Mark Vientos. We've had Mark Vientos literally forever. And he's been good. And they want another piece. No, man. Why are you guys so crazy? Oh. 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 just too much oh how do i get flexing in there so we could get rid of flexing who right now is just an extra arm for us he doesn't make a whole lot of money but he's pushing 30 probably better that we move on i know it says it's not really fair we're not getting much in return i wonder if they'll retain some of the salary
We get them to retain 10%. We'll do it. Fans are going to like that we got Trey Turner. Uh, okay. So that means we still have too many pitchers. Um, or is that really not a problem at this point? I don't really want to lose any anybody. But I don't really know if I could send any of these to send any of these guys down. Back stiffness. Oh, he's hurt. Sweet. Put him on the 10 day DL. All right. All right. All right. So that ended up being very fortunate for us. Someone getting hurt on the last day before the trade deadline. Very, very fortunate for us. Woo. Dang, that is that is about as fortunate chat as you can get. Shortstop going down right before the trade deadline. So hopefully that'll... Uh, all right, well, so we ended up making a trade deadline move. Oh, well, that's good. He'll need some rest. Player development update. Zamora up, Sui Dan, Syndergaard, way down. Look at the stamina. Oh, no, his stamina dropped to 40? What? Chat. Chat. Oh, chat. That's terrible. That's not good. Mackenzie down, Martin down, Gray, Bess up, Bart up, Grill even, Navarro even, Mauricio up, Gordon up, Guiracocha up, Verdugo ups and downs, K down, Matt Winokur way up. Yeah, that is not good. Yeah, we may have to look at getting rid of him in the offseason. Especially considering dude's making $24 million for the next three years. And again, he's not making Garrett Cole money. Power rankings, we're number one still. Six and a half up right now. Oh, oh Dustin May out six week Man, the injuries, holy moly. That's not good. Uh, who do we got for relievers we can call back up? How's Bachelor doing? Bachelor's all the way down in Binghamton? Wow. Handled is in Binghamton as well. He's pitching pretty good. Lugo Martin, sweet Framber Valdez. He's in double A, getting absolutely shelled. Drew Smith is in double A. Uh, I guess it's going to be... How's Colome doing? Oh, Colome's out for ever and ever. Amen. Um, Bachelor. Handled. Handled the control is just wild right now. Bachelor. less often all right we good we good man we good draft pick signing deadline i think we're good there we have two guys they don't want to they don't talk to us no more they don't want to talk to us no more neither of them are top five picks either Nah, no compensation pathetic
Waisu Nakayama still leads the NL in wins. He hasn't had any lately, though. He's still at 13. Colby Allard having a great season, by the way. 10 and 2, 2 6 1. Syndergaard's been pitching pretty well since he come back, but I mean, again, look at the in look at the innings. Six, five. Oh, that was the IL. Six, four and two thirds, and five. Oh, good thing we have a good bullpen. Epstein's back. Ernesto Carrasco, seventy-five stamina. Love it. Six, seven. Let's go, baby. Seven games up on the Nats. All right, all right. Sunny. Ah. Uh, the injuries chat. Injuries are mounting up. It's not good. Handle is hurt? Oh. 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 Injuries are piling up. Yeah, this new trainer uh not really getting the job done. Pitching wise, we're seeing a lot of pitching injuries. Our hitters. Okay, good. Chris Martin's ready to come off the DL. Perfect. That means we can get rid of Drew Smith. And go injured list and bring Chris Martin back in. Sweet. Yeah, no, I know. We've we've suffered a Mike Trout out for a week with a herniated disc. He's fine. He's just heating up, too. All right, we're still seven up, middle of August. This current state of the stream brought to you by seven up, brought to you by eight up. No, seven up again. It was close. Mauricio's got four weeks left out. All right, listen, it's fine. We're going to take our lumps now. We're going to get everyone healthy for the playoffs. You're ready to rock. McCutcheon out for he's day to day. He's fine. Veteran presence chat. We're up there for best record in baseball. I'd like it if uh, Guiracocha got on base a little more. Nine steals, though. Nine jacks, nine steals. Needs to get a bit more going in the power. Verdugo's been a good pickup for us. How's Turner doing since we got him? Hitting 303. Good. Verdugo's hitting 298 since we got him. Good. Change of scenery's done those guys well. Cuba Best is sick. A little bit of the stomach flu. First team to 80 wins. Oh, no, I think Cleveland got there first. Syndergaard's starting to stretch out a little bit, or what? Well, you see, he's getting he's getting five to six. Listen, if I could get five and a third of that all the time, no runs, two hits, eight Ks, no walks, I'll take it. I'll take that all day, er day. If that's what he's gonna give me, I'll take it. 
Roster expansion coming up. Oh. Navarro still top three in RBIs. Allard still. McCutcheon is out, elbow inflammation. That's okay because we're at the uh, roster expansion. Yeah, I know. I was having, for some reason, Twitch wasn't cooperating uh, with changing the title or the game. Um, it Because I set it up. Usually I change it even like sometimes up to like an hour in advance just if I'm sitting here and I think about it. And then I looked and I, I, I saw, oh, it says FH. Uh, you know, what threw me off is like a, a minute or so after I started streaming, I get the notification in the chat that says, you know, Out of the Park Developments is playing blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, huh? I'm not playing that. What are you talking about? I'm not playing that at all. But alas, here we are. None of our minor league teams are really in it. So, I mean, we can definitely look to add um, add some players. Um, who might not be on the 40 man, like for example, uh, Bashler's already on the big club, right? Did we send where did Handled go? Did he just die? Yeah, I know it's not ideal, obviously. Gurlon is in A plus hitting 176. Yike. We call up Jeans for the stretch run or what? He's in double A. They're done. Little uh, call, little Jeans action. Call up Cortez. Tigeron, too. Yeah, I know, I know. And then we'll have Mauricio in May. He'll be ready to go here in a couple days. All right. So that'll get me... Well, we might we might send some guys down. We'll see. Alex Reyes. Well, what do you want for a new deal? I want a short-term, team-friendly deal. That's not terrible. That's a good spot to, good spot to start, but four years might be much. I'd rather take it year-to-year -year with Alex Reyes right now. He's hitting 225. It's better than where he's been. He had been really struggling. Um, April, like, look at May. May hit 195. June hit 182. August he hit 173. September so far, 455 small sample size. He's getting there. Justin Wilson leads team in saves. Ah, uh, still suffering oblique strain. That's okay. That's why we traded for Trey Turner. And Trey Turner has been playing fantastic. Ronnie Mauricio. Personal message again. Kingsport. Uh, Alex Casena is retiring. So long. Godspeed. Godspeed, friend. May eligible to come off the DL. Perfect. Uh, what are we going to do with them? Kind of want to go to a six-man rotation now. Mostly because I don't want anyone to get hurt. We're up six games, second week of September. I really don't want anybody to get hurt. So we go six-man rotation. Yeah, Reyes is barely pitched, though. Reyes, Reyes only has uh, 55 innings. 55 very, very good innings. Oh, who did something good? David Carr with a touchdown? Oh, no. They're in the red zone. whoop de doo Give me a notification when they do something good. Um, Allard, though, has been fantastic. 11-2, 289, 159 innings, only 137 hits. 
43 walks, 90, only 96 Ks, though. Ks are down. And the BABIP is only 260, so very, very low. Uh, very, very low. Um, uh, not sustainable from Mr. Ellard, for sure. You know what is sustainable? Nakayama striking out everyone he faces. Although his Ks per nine is down. And his BABAP is up to 346. Not ideal. McCutcheon has some elbow inflammation. Recovery unclear. Oh, we're only four games up now? And a four-gamer against Washington? Oh, Nakayama lost the game. No! He's 14-1. and one. He blew it against the Nats. We're only up three now. Oh, no, we're back up to four. Uh-oh. Mauricio's eligible to come off the IL. Perfect. And what we'll do is we'll go team home screen. Nope. We won that game. Perfect. Mauricio was the starting shortstop. So we're going to put Mauricio in there. But what we're going to do is we're going to put Trey Turner in as a backup. And we're just going to play. We're going to rotate them every every uh, every other game. Yeah, I am going to save. Good call. I've I've had a couple blue screens lately on my computer, so hopefully we don't have anything go side. Oh, hey, Trout hits four hundred home runs. Four hundred home runs for Mike Trout. All right, let's play this last game against the Nats. All right, now we're back up six again. Yeah, Sonny's out. We're up seven. Oh, chat. Uh, I back up my files every every week. Uh, anything that I stream, uh, I always back it up onto my uh, Google Drive every week when the stream's over. In case something happens. Oh. Uh... He never made it above. Well, he had those double A appearances, but oh. final season he had twenty six at bats. He was at six hits, no homers, three RBIs, three walks, eleven Ks, and twenty six at bats. Negative WAR. Maybe next year. Carlos Jose Sanchez. Did Neil Nunez also calling it quits? Good. Less guys. I got to worry about feeding. Less guys. I got to worry about feeding. What's this? Player of the week? Sweet. <laughs> Someone had to say it. You're not wrong. Uh, okay. Let's get through this regular season. We're gonna we're, we we got a playoffs. We got the division locked up. Chat. 
It would take a monumental collapse at this point. There it is. Playoff spot clinched. Eight-game win streak on fire. Brooklyn Cyclones player Yudi Cologne, Colin Garrett. We're in the postseason. We only need a few more. Uh, we only need like a win. Then we got the division sewn up to. Change that bad boy to a Y. Sonny Gray out will off the IL. I'll put him on the active roster. That way he can be a playoff possibility. So that means we're pretty much not even going to say it out loud. There we go. National League East champions. There it is. NL East 2022 champions. It's been a tough season. Finish out the regular season strong. Try to get to 100 wins maybe. 97. 61. No, I can only lose one more. Personal message. Development update. Oh, Jeans Garcia. Look at that. Way up. Guira Coach is still going up. Campuso. Mike Trout moving up. I like it. little development for Trout. He's only 31. My word. Mike Trout wins Batter of the Month. Why do I have a game after the regular season ends? Makeup game? Why do I have this random San Diego game? All right, so we finished 99 and 63. Division champs. Old makeup games. I love them right at the end of the season. What a season for Luis Navarro, by the way. You all wanted me to trade Navarro after he got off to a slow start his first season. Since both in his two seasons since then, 291 and 288, 35 and 30 homers, 229 RBIs. And you guys wanted me to trade him. 11.7 wins above replacement. Pfft. Pfft. Can't believe you guys right now. I don't believe it. Let's finish today. 2020 player Senzel. Nice. You guys wanted me to trade Navarro. Remember, guys, Rich is going to be here at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern with his perfect team. We're going to stream pretty much right up until then. Uh, we're going to stream pretty much right up until then. All right. So uh, let's go playoff cover. So we are going to play winner of Cincinnati. Oh, Cincinnati. Not again. Not the Reds again. All right. Let's go worry about our playoff roster. Playoff roster right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No Syndergaard on the playoff roster? What? Yeah, PTSD, yeah. No, Rich is at Rich is at 10. 10 p.m. Eastern. 10. 10 p.m. Eastern. Syndergaard's got to be on the playoff roster. I mean, come on. So right now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pitchers. Okay. Yeah, handled out. Thor in. Bachelor out. Reyes in. 
We leave Martin out because he's hurt. And we don't know how long he's going to be out for. Okay. We Nick Gordon is a casualty because we have Mauricio and Trey Turner. This looks good. Yeah. Yeah. It's because we have so many starting pitchers on the roster. I mean, here's the thing. It is going to be tough. It's going to be very tough to decide out of these six guys which four we're going to start. I mean, can you trust Garrett Cole? Is is Garrett Cole at $38 million? Is Garrett Cole the odd man out? Make it $38 million. I mean, here's the thing. The BABIP is 357. Like, the, the peripherals are good. The Ks are good. He gives up too many hits. Ks and walks rates are good. Do we trust him? He's the $38 million man. How do you not put him out there? True, there is a thing. You can use starters in relief. Yes. Absolutely. You might have to put him in the bullpen. I think, I want to see who we're playing first. It's going to be Cincinnati. Tyler Beatty? Tyler? Tyler Beatty that we traded them? Goes six innings in the wild card game? Picks up the dub? Does that mean they've got Maley ready to go in the first? Oh, man. Man, come on. Does that mean they've got Maley ready to go? No. It's going to be Bo Burrows. All right. So let's see what we want to do. Five game series. Everybody should be rested. Okay. We've got to put Cole in the bullpen, man. So we're going Thor the first game, Allard the second game, and then probably McKenzie. Oh, McKenzie's hurt. Oh. He might be ready to go by game three, though. If he's not ready to go by game three, we'll start him in game four. If he's not ready to go for game four, then we can start Cole. Or we can go back to Thor. Allard's hot, Thor's thought. We're going Thor and Allard in the first two games. And we're going to throw three long men in the bullpen. Thor's, again, Thor's only good for like 60 pitches, if that. You look at his pitch, you look at his game log 80, 79, 72, 76, 73. He's good for 80 pitches. He's got 80 pitches in him, and that's it. Stop yelling. That it drives me insane. I absolutely despise people who type in all caps. I get it. His stamina. Um uh after he came back from his uh after he came back from his 13 month uh injury, the first player development update we got, his stamina went down to 40. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're going to go with Syndergaard and Allard the first two games and see what happens. Nakayama is our wins leader. That's a problem. We got this, chat. 
we will exercise the demons of the Reds. For those of you who are relatively new or did not follow the 2021 season, we lost to the Reds. We blew a 3-1 lead in the NLCS right after I said we're not going to blow a 3-1 lead in the NLCS. Frankie Rios, Axel, Alexio, uh, Alexo, Yelich, Taylor Trammell, Profar, Suarez, Belt, Stevenson, Bo Burrows on the hill, 9-9 and with 3-7-6. We've got Trout, Senzel, Guiracocha, Navarro, Alvarez, Bart, Verdugo, and Syndergaard. Uh, and Ronnie Mauricio is going to get the start at short, uh, I think. Who's been hotter as of late? Uh, batting stats, uh, game log. Oh, Turner's been ice cold. Uh, splits, September. He had 271. Uh, batting, splits, September. Mauricio hit 300. All right, we're going to go Mauricio. Exactly. I do I, I do that all the time. Type and forget to take the caps lock off. And then the guys in the development team yell at me. Because I'm like looking at this screen, but I'm typing on this screen. And I'm like looking at something else. And then I type in caps and it's just not good. I do it at work all the time too. All right. Let's do it, chat. Game one of the NL DS. Mets and Reds live from City Field. Frankie Rios going to step in here to face the big man, Syndergaard. And he starts it off with a strikeout. Here's Alexo. It's a nubber back to the pitcher. Syndergaard up with it, makes the play. Two down. Here's Yelich. Fly ball, high and deep to right field, and the Reds strike first. Christian Yelich with a 424-foot home run to right center field, and the Reds take a one to nothing lead. Shoot me. Here's Taylor Trammell. He walks him. Syndergaard, pitch count is huge. There goes Trammell. Bart with the throw down. Not going to get him. And that's a swinging miss. And that's going to be a pass ball. Runner's going to go to third. Fly ball into right. Verdugo there to make the play. So the Reds get one on the home run by Christian Yelich. They take a quick one nothing lead. Here's Mike Trout going to lead it off against Bo Burrows. He strikes out looking on three pitches. Uh, Syndergaard has a problem with stamina, yes. Oh, come on, guys. Here's Guiracocha. Number. Oh, pitcher misses it. Run, Guiracocha. He got Oh, my word. Horrible animations. All right. Oh, get that. There you go. Nice play by Jordan. Here's Belt. Strikes out. We need Syndergaard to lock it in. He's already at 35 pitches. Woo! 101. And then 99. Good inning. Here's Navarro. 35 home runs or 30 home runs in the regular season. Pop up into center. It's going to be a long run, but they're going to get there and make the play. Yelich does it. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Walked him. First base runner of the game for the Mets. Four pitch walk to Jordan Alvarez. It's going to turn it over to Joey Bart. He strikes out. Already three strikeouts in the game. Verdugo. Liner into the left, or a little looper into the left, I should say. That'll end the inning. Mets get nothing. After two, it's one nothing Reds. Syndergaard now to face the pitcher, Bo Burrows. 
Burrow's hard hit to short. Mauricio up with it. Makes the play. One down. Back to the top for Frankie Rios. Three bouncer to second. Got him. Senzel makes the play. Here's Alexo. Fly ball. Lazy one to left. Guiracocha underneath it. And he makes the play. Nothing in the top of the third for the Reds. They still lead one nothing. He's only 57 pitches. We can't, can't go too early. No! Oh! Land. Nope. Here's Ronnie Mauricio, the number nine hitter. Little base hit into left field. Ronnie Mauricio in his first playoff action in the big leagues with a base hit. That's going to turn it back over to the top of the order, Mike Trout. Lines up and back up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. Mauricio is going to go to third. Yelich has a hard time picking up the ball in center field. And that's going to allow the runners to advance to second and third and only one out here in the inning. And Nick Senzel at the dish. He goes down swinging. And that's going to bring up the still 20. The 20-year-old phenom. Speedboat Guiracocha. Chance to make an impact early here. Lines that into left. That's going to be trouble, but Trammell goes to his left and makes the play. So the Mets strand two. We go to the top of the fourth. One nothing. Grounder to second. And they're going to retire Yelich this time. 4 3 on the putout. Here's Trammell. I don't know. Yelich made a boo-boo there. Trying to give us back that home run, I think. Back-to-back -back grounders the second. Here's Profar. Grounder to third. Navarro goes to his left. Got to make a strong throw, and he does. Three up, three down. Bottom of the fourth. Mets got to get something going here. They're down one nothing. Here's Luis Navarro. High fly ball! Deep to center, over the head of Yelich and off the wall. And that is going to be a leadoff double for Luis Navarro to kick off the bottom of the fourth. And that will bring up what happened to his stamina. I don't know. Like I said, he was, I mean, he was injured for uh, an entire year with elbow damage. He came back. He's not the same guy. We're getting what we can out of him. So here's Luis Navarro, or Jordan Alvarez, sorry, Luis Navarro at second base here with nobody out. Jordan's going to hit that. He's going to do the job. Grounder to second. That's going to move the runner to third. And now Joey Bird up here with a chance to tie this game, but he strikes out. Another strikeout for Burroughs, number five. None bigger than that one. Here's Verdugo. Hard hit to short. That's going to be thrown across the diamond. They're going to make the play in the Mets. Strand another runner in scoring position. And trail 1-0. Here's Eugenio Suarez. He strikes out. Syndergaard looking good. Fourth strikeout of the game. Make that number five. Has only allowed the one hit. There's a grounder. Hey, there's hit number two. Right as I said it out loud, it happens. Here's Burroughs now, pitcher spot. Grounder to second. So five innings in the books for Syndergaard, and he trails one nothing. Uh, so now we got to get somebody up. Man, oh man. Do I want to warm up Garrett Cole? That's a great question, game. What do we do here? Cuba Bess. So Cuba Bess 
Going to pinch hit for Syndergaard here. The kick off the bottom of the fifth. And he's going to go down swinging. Number six for Burroughs. Back to the, or no, it's going to be the number nine hitter, Mauricio. One for one so far. Looper into right field. Alexo is going to saunter on over and makes the play. Here's Trout now, one for two in the game. He hits a lazy fly in the left. The Mets just not doing anything at the plate. Three up, three down. After five, it's one nothing. And in out of the bullpen, we're going to get Garrett Cole. Top of the order. Frankie Rios to lead it off. And Cole starts with a strikeout. And a walk, which is exactly what we want with Yelich coming up. And then another walk. Get literally anybody up. They got any lefties coming up? Trammell's a lefty. They're pretty good after that, though, but maybe get Justin Wilson up just in case. Why didn't I have anybody up immediately anyway? L lazy fly into center. Trout going to come on. Going to dive and make the play. Two down for Profar. He swings and misses. Cole gets the job done. Score remains unchanged. one nothing. All right. All right. See if we can get another inning out of Cole. We'll warm those guys back up. Probably different guys. What's up, Kretz? How you doing, man? Here's Senzel. Senzel, Guiracocha, and Navarro. And that's going to be slashed down the right field line. Long run for Alexio, but he's going to make the diving play. What a great play. Here's Guiracocha, 0 for 2 so far. Hard grounder to second. Two down. Here's Navarro. The Mets just not getting it done. Uh, all right. Let's get... Uh, where are we at in the order for them? Might be Nakayama time. No, we get Sui warmed up. Here's Suarez. Cole catches him looking on the inside corner, 96. Woo! Not sure where that one missed, folks. Runner going. Bart with a great throw down. Not a chance on that one for Brandon Belt. Joey Bart throws him out by 15 feet. Oh, come on. They're leaving Burroughs in to pop up in the infield. All right. Time for the stretch. See if we get to the pitcher spot here. Jordan Alvarez to lead it off. Mets down to their last nine outs here. Alvarez! Hits one to center field. That one's going to go all the way to the wall. Jordan Alvarez is going to lead off the bottom of the seventh with a double. Can Joey Bart bunt or does it even matter? Joey Bart can 40 sack bunt. He's over to, he struck out twice, eh? I know, right? What do I do? What do I do? Do I bunt? Then they'll bring in a lefty. 
to face Verdugo. Hmm. All right. Heads is bunt, tails is no bunt. Hey, Google. Sorry, chat. Flip a coin. And it's tails, no bunts. Swing away, baby. Here's Bert. Bart hits it back up the middle. It's going to be through for a base hit. Alvarez is going to come around third, and he's going to score. And the Mets are on the board. They tied the game at one. Joey Bart with a clutch Google-infused base hit. And the Reds are going to go to the bullpen, and they're going to bring in Jimmy Herget to face Alex Verdugo. Nobody out here still. Bird at first. And Verdugo hits that one high and deep. Well, not medium deep, I guess, to right. That's going to be caught one down. We're going to see a pinch hitter here for Garrett Cole. And it is going to be Trey Turner. Trey Turner picked up at the trade deadline from the Washington Nationals. One out, one on here. And Turner goes down swinging. That's going to turn it over to Ronnie Mauricio now with two down. Mauricio, fly ball to center. Yelich gives chase. He's going to flag it down. But the Mets, a RBI single from Joey Burt. And the Mets have tied the game at one. Fuksui going to come into the game. And immediately, Wei Su Nakayama warming up in the bullpen. And we got to get somebody up to face uh, Yelich. And that's going to be Zamora. So here's Fuksui now to face Frankie Rios. Grounder to second. It's going to be picked up by Senzel. He's going to make the play one down. Here's Alexio. I think Alexio hits the same both sides, right? Oh, no, he's way worse against lefties. Mm. I hate to use Sui for one batter. But I don't have a choice. We got to put Zamora in. I was going to give up on Bart. So Daniel Zamora is going to come in here to face Alexo. Grand to third. Navarro bobbles it. Picks it up, though, but it's not going to be in time. E5. And the Mets have a runner, or the Reds have a runner on, and Christian Yelich coming to the dish. And he walks them. <laughs> oh. Oh. One out, two on here. Here's Trammell. And he walks. Oh, baby, that's going to bring manager Snaggle J out to the mound. He's going to signal for the righty, Wei Su Nakayama. One of the most intriguing regular seasons in Mets history. 15 and 1. Six saves, a 264 ERA. 153 strikeouts in 112 innings. And now. Pitching bases loaded. One down here in the inning and pitching to Jurickson and Profar. In the top of the eighth of a 1-1 game. And Profar into right field. That's going to be a base hit. That's going to score one. Yelich is going to hold up at third. And the Reds have taken a 2-1 to one lead. Here's Suarez now. That's going to be back up. And that's going to be a base hit. And that's going to score two, possibly, and it is, and it's 4-1. That's going to be a 3-4 put out. No relay back. Navarro 
Going to go to second. So the Reds score three off of the Mets' bullpen. And they lead four to one. On Faye, the Mets or the Reds' closer coming on for two innings of duty here. Had mixed results in last year's playoff series. Had to go to the lefty, man. Had to go to the lefty. Had to trust Zamora there. Zamora had a great season, chat. Come on. Y'all would have did the exact same thing. It was the right play. He was coming in to face Yelich anyway. Sui is prone to give up the home run. He was coming in to face Yelich. You bring him in to face Alexo, who has very right-hand heavy splits. Zamora had a 2.88 ERA in the regular season. He just happened to walk three guys. Well, if you would have left him in, you're dumb. So, that that's a that's a dumb, in my opinion, dumb move. But again, there is something to be said. I could have played the hot hand there, and left Sui in, but I chose not to. I went with the data, and not the. I played the matchups, and you know what? It burned me. Because now we're losing 4-1. Trout with a walk. So we got something going. Let's walk Senzel and then Coach is going to tie it with a home run. Back-to-back walks to start the inning. And that's going to bring up the 20-year-old Luis Guiracocha. Trout at second, Senzel at first. Nobody out here. And Guiraco just strikes out. Here's Navarro. Navarro back up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. Trout is going to round third and stop. That's going to have the bases loaded now. One out, bases loaded. Jordan Alvarez at the plate. Mets down three. Infield in for the Reds. Oh, that's going to go to short. And they're going to go to home. And they're going to get the out at home to keep it a three-run game. Bunch of chislers. And Joey Burt walks. Second RBI of the game for Joey Burt as On Thay walks in a run. And it's 4-2. Alex Verdugo at the plate. And that's going to get away. Run's going to come home and score, and it's 4-3. Here we go. 2-2 count to Verdugo. Alvarez at third. Bird at second. That's a pop-up into center field. It is a long run for Yelich, but he's going to get there. The Mets trying to make it interesting as they score two, and we'll go to the nine, 4-3. Also, it didn't help that Nakayama came in and gave up three base hits in a row when he's our best reliever. Really didn't help or cause any. Could have really used one of them 150-some strikeouts. Now he's just going to come in and mow guys down. We can't let Yelich hit in this inning. No, we can't. We can't get... It's like if I say it, then it just happens. Just take it yourself, you ding-a-ling. All right, here we go. Bottom of the ninth. And they staying in the game here. <laughs> Which I can't believe. And coming off the bench, the veteran, Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon is going to pinch hit for Weisu Nakayama here to lead off the bottom of the ninth. And he strikes out looking because he's awful. Here's Mauricio now. One out here in the ninth. Hits that into right field. That's going to be a long run for Alexo. He's going to dive and make the play. Another gold glove play from Alexo out there. Here's Trout. And he walks. The Mets have life. Mike Trout with a two-out walk. And here's Nick Senzel over three in the game. And he walks. 
That's going to put the tying run at second and the winning run at first. Circus O'Hanion is going to come in out of the bullpen. And he is going to face the 20-year-old who is 0 for 4 in this game. Luis Guiracocha. If there was ever a time for Guiracocha to announce his presence on the MLB scene, this is that moment. Here we go, O'Hanion set. It's ground ball to second, and that is going to do it. The Reds are going to win the game by a score of 4-3 to three and a wild one. All right. No biggie. No biggie. Got to change it up. Changing her up. All right. So they've got Colton Laws. We've got Allard. And our bullpen is gassed. Great. Well, here we go. Different lineup for them as well with the lefty on the mound. Trammell moves the leadoff spot. Rios, Yelich, Suarez, Alexo Stevenson, Propair, Belt. Different lineups on both sides. Here we go. Allard going to kick it off here. 52 degrees on this beautiful October day. Grounded to first. One down. Remember, guys, Rich is going to be here in about 40 minutes' time. We're going to try to get through this series before that happens. If not, oh well. Here's Yelich. That's going to be a base hit back up the middle. Yep. You go 0 for 5 in the 3 spot, you're getting demoted. We need to win. Now that's going to be a base hit. Yelich is going to round second and go to third. Woo! Trout shows off the cannon. Yelich immediately turns around. Here's Alexo. He strikes out. Inning over. Couple on for the Reds, but no score. Bottom of the first, here we come. Mets will need to get out early. Ronnie Mauricio is going to lead it off. He's one for four in game one. Facing Colton Laws. Hits that down the third baseline. It's going to be a tough play from deep in the hole, but a great throw from Eugenio Suarez. Got him. Here's Trout. One for three in game one with two walks. That one is hit a mile high and deep to right. Will it stay fair? It will, and it's gone. Mike Trout with a home run. To right field, and the Mets take a one to nothing lead. Exactly what the Mets needed, getting out in front early. Immediately. Lineup changes, immediate dividends. Here's Senzel now with one down. High fly, medium center. Yelich getting underneath it. He'll make the play for out number two. Here's Jordan Alvarez. One for three with a walk in game one. And he hits that one high and deep to right down the right field. That's a long run, but Alexio is going to get there. But the Mets get one. Mike Trout with a home run. I hope he goes four for four in the eighth spot. That'd be great. Three bouncer to Navarro. Strong throw across the diamond. Got him. Here's Profar, number seven hitter for the Reds. He walks. Allard with the walk. Here's Belt. Pitcher on deck. Granite is short. Six, four, 
Three double play, and the Mets get out of it. Led to the bottom of the second. Score one nothing. Here's Luis Navarro. Navarro, Verdugo, Bart here for the Mets. Navarro hits that hard to short. But Profar able to get there and make the play. Here's Verdugo. 0 for 4 last night. And he strikes out to kick off game number two. Here's Joey Bart. Was 1 for 3 with a walk. Two RBIs in last night's game one. And he keeps it going here to kick off game two as he loops a two-out single into left field. And Joey Bart is on again. And that's going to turn it down to Guiracocha, who was 0 for 5 last night. And promptly moved from the third spot in the order to spot number 8. And he pops this one up in the infield. Profar underneath it. Calls it and makes the play. So nothing happening. Bart with a single. Here's Colton Laws now to lead off the third. A walk. Walks the pitcher. Good job, Colby. Go to second. Turn it. What a play by Bart. Gold Glover. Uh oh. Uh, Gold. <laughs> but, like, this can't be. This can't be happening. How? How does that kind of stuff happen? I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. I should have walked the it's there. I don't understand. Yeah, it's an interesting conversation. I mean, you got to think, right? If Babe Ruth had access to all of the training and the knowledge, like if you just literally took Babe Ruth himself in his physical form, you put him in baseball now, he would struggle. I mean, but if you gave Babe Ruth video ability, and training regimen and nutrition and gave him that raw baseball talent to go with it, it's an in, it, it becomes a more interesting conversation. Again, Babe Ruth, easily probably one of the best players, you know, in the first 40 years of the 19th century, 18th, 20th century, you know what I mean, the 1900s. But that's the thing. He didn't have access to the training, the nutrition, the 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 game changing, you know, video systems and stuff that we have now. So if you just took 1921 Babe Ruth and dropped him in now, Mo Vaughn's a pretty good comparison. But if you gave him proper training and a workout program. You know, he's still an extremely talented individual. Just, you know, he was more talented at that time. Strike three. Really, really hard to compare that to now. It's just, it's, it's apples and oranges. It's not even apples and oranges. It's apples and zucchinis. It really is. Trout loops that one down the left field line. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Trout is going to stop at first. Better fast food, true. Trout with his second hit. Two out now for Senzel. And he's going to walk. That's going to bring up Alvarez now. Two on, two down. Jordan hits that one hard, and that's going to get through. Trout is going to round third on his way home, but he's going to stop. They're going to play it safe. Maybe should have sent him there, but... Base is loaded now for Navarro. And he's going to ground out to second because why not? Yeah, that too. That's the thing, right? Opposition research is huge. I mean, you know, now you'd get to see him play every day. Every one of his at-bats would be on video. 
Like that's the thing. It, 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 it's it's impossible. It's a great conversation to have, but it's impossible to answer. I mean, we could do it digitally. I mean, you could take Babe Ruth out of OOTP's files and plunk him in to 2019, but it, it doesn't account for all the extra stuff. You physically can't answer the question. Everything is is purely s- speculation. It sure can. That's the thing. Look how much they had to walk bonds. Eventually they had to pitch to him. Bert. High and deep to left center. That's a long run and a dive by Yelich. That's the kind of plays it takes to get Joey Bird out at this point. Guerra Concha. Deep to right field. Way back out of here and gone. Luis Guerra with a monster home run to right field and the Mets lead two to nothing. Holy moly, the 20 year old with a 395 foot yak to right field and it's two nothing. I don't want to say that I'm the ultimate lineup manager, but two guys have home runs that weren't hitting in that spot yesterday. Something's working right now. Grounder to short. Oh, come on, Mauricio. Make a play, man. Get there. Allard's at 63 pitches. There we go. Come on, Allard. Get me out of this inning. One. Go to first. Take one. There you go. Good play. Great job. There we go. Fly out the right. Get there, Verdugo. My man. My man, Verdugo. All right. Top of the order, Mauricio. Here in the bottom of the fifth for the Mets, up 2 nothing. That's going to be a line out to second. Rios able to make the play. Here's Trout. Two for two so far in this one. A home run and a single. Hits that one back to the pitcher. Let me out number two. Go to Senzel now. Over one, or, oh, yeah, over one with a walk. That one is high to medium right. Alexo is going to be there, though. Make the play. Three up, three down for the Mets. Allard coming back out for the six. 75 pitches. Very economical. Makes a great cat-like play off the mound. Got him. Here's Yelich. I should have pitched around him. Guiracocha on the run, on the run, on the run. He makes the play. Luis Guiracocha runs it down at the warning track. Two out now for Suarez. It's that hard to short Mauricio from deep in the hole. Strong throw. Got him. Here's Jordan. Uh, where are we at? Okay, where's our pitching situation right now? Allard's at 84 pitches. But we're at, he's got lefty, lefty, righty, switch, lefty. So we'll warm someone up when the inning starts. If we get to his spot this inning with a chance to blow it open, we'll see what happens. Here's Alvarez. One for two in the game. Oh. Got all of that one, but way underneath it. Big fly to center. Yelich will make the play. Here's Navarro. 0 for 2 in this one. Hits that one high. Down the right field line. Alexo coming in to get it. He's going to make the play for out number 2. Here's Verdugo now. 0 for 2 in this game. 0 for 6 in the playoffs. And it's going to be a low, slow grander to second. Verdugo's going to beat this out. No! Great throw by Rios. Got him. All right. If somebody... hmm, Do I want to warm someone up right off the hop? I do. Yeah, we got to warm somebody up. And I got to record better sounds for that. Hot dogs, hamburgers... 
Peanuts. Oh, bad throw. Did you get him? Oh, Mauricio. Touchdown alert. Melvin Gordon. My hero, Melvin Gordon. All right. Uh, one out, one on. Oh, wild pitch. Come on, Allard. Keep it together, bud. That one's in the gap. That's a long run for Trout. Stevenson tagging. He's going to go to third. So two out, runner at third now. Here's Brandon Belt. Pitcher on deck. We pitch around him here and then see what happens at the pitcher spot? I think so, eh? Yeah. That's the smart play. Oh! Get there! So much, not so much for pitching around him, I guess. Riley Green. Little better against righties. Come on, Allard. I need this one out, buddy. Get me this one out. There we go. Thank you. All right, all right. F. What happened? Did the stream die? The stream is still up, right? Are you trying to pay respects to my game, or are you trying to pay respects to the stream? I never know, you people in your Twitch language. Oh, stream is good. All right. I always feel like F's to pay respects is like when the, you know, when the stream, when the stream dies. All right, here we go. Jimmy Hergit into the game. Bart, Guida, Kocha, and Allard. F to pay respects, man. 2-1 Mets lead. Bot seven. And Bart's going to walk on base again. Here comes Guida Cocha. Hits that hard to first base. They're going to take the easy one. Belt will move up to second. We will see who the Mets bring in off the bench here. Looks like it's going to be Trey Turner. Trey Turner, one out, runner at second. And he strikes out looking. Here's Mauricio now, two down. High and deep to left field. That's going to be a long run. It's going to be over the head. That's going to score a run. Trammell couldn't track it down. A two-out RBI double for Ronnie Mauricio, and the Mets take a 3-1 lead. Yes, I know you want out. The Mets take a three to one lead on Ronnie Mauricio's double. Here's Trout, two for three in the game. Granted a third. Strong throw across the diamond from Suarez. Got him, but the Mets get one more. And they lead 3 1. Fook Sui going to come into the game here for the eighth. Top of the order. Exactly where the things went sideways last time. Back to the mound. Trammell's fast. So he's got to hurry, and he's not going to get him. Here's Rios. Fly ball to right. That's going to be caught by Guiracocha, or Verdugo, sorry. Okay, chat. I'm going to trust you guys now. We're not going to go to a lefty. We're just going to leave Sui. Liner to center. Trout's going to make the play. 
Mostly because we didn't have one warmed up. Here's Suarez now. And Sui gets the strikeout, and that's going to end the inning. We're going to head to the bottom of the eighth. They lead 3-1. And Wei Su Nakayama starting to get loose down in the bullpen. The Mets would love some insurance here. Here's Senzel to lead off the bottom of the eighth. It's that hard to first. It's going to be a 3-1 put out. Herga gets there. Here's Alvarez, one for three in the game. I know. Trust Dung Chat. I should never trust Dung Chat. Here's Navarro, over three. He strikes out. So we're going to go to the ninth. Nakayama's coming in. The Mets are going to try to even this series at one. Here's Alexo. And he strikes out. 98 miles an hour from that one. From Nakayama. Here's Stevenson. And he goes down swinging out number two. 96. Here's Profire. Reds down to their last out. And he strikes him out. Nakayama strikes out the side. And the Mets win 3-1. to one. And they tie the series at one game apiece. All right, we're going to try to speed this along just a bit. How's the other series is uh, going? Cleveland's up 2-0 on Boston. Tampa's up 2-0 on Houston. Dodgers in St. Louis is 1-1. McKenzie's not ready to go. We're going to have to start Alex Reyes' chat. We're going to have to start Alex Reyes. And then I don't know what we're going to do for game four. We'll do half innings at a time. All right. Uh, who do they got? Tyler Beatty. Going with the same lineup we had in game two. Mauricio Trout, Senzel, Alvarez, Navarro, Verdugo, Bart, Guiracocha, Reyes, Rios, Alexo, Yelich, Trammell, Proper, Suarez, Belt, Stevenson, and Tyler Beatty, another former Met connection on the hill. Mets get nothing. Reds get nothing. Mets get nothing. Reds get three. Mets get nothing. Oh my gosh, four nothing. Reyes, man, you're killing me. We got one back. All right, where are we at here? Top of the sixth? We're at the meat of the order, so I'll start playing. Uh, what's our bull panel situation? Five innings, four hits, one run, 83 pitches. Should get somebody warmed up. Get Dustin May warmed up. No, because I might need Dustin May to start tomorrow. Yeah, no, bad idea. We might need Dustin May tomorrow. Bart should be batting third? No. I mean, maybe. So here's Senzel to lead off the top of the sixth. That's going to be a base hit. Senzel drives one back up through the middle for a single. First man on here. Here's Jordan Alvarez. He goes down swinging. Beatty's seventh strikeout. No, sorry. Sixth. 
Here's Navarro. Pop up into center. Yelich going to make the play. Here's Verdugo now. One for nine in the series. And he walks. That's going to bring us down to Joey Bart. Yeah, he strikes out. See, you don't know what you're talking about. Anyone gets on, we're going to Lugo immediately. Strike three, you're out. <laughs> Joey Votto pitch it. And Joey Votto sighting chat. You know exactly what you're talking about. I probably put him thirty. If I put, if he was batting third, he would have hit a yak there. I get what you're saying. Here's Guidacocha, Robert Stevenson into the game now. Hits that hard into right field. That's going to be in the corner off the wall. Guiracocha is going to round first, going to try to get to second. He's saved. Guiracocha with an RBI or an RBI, a leadoff double. And the Mets are going to go to the bench. And we're going to see Lourdes Gurriel Jr., who has had some playoff heroics in the past for the Mets. Going to jump in here with nobody out, one on. Hits that one high and deep to right field at the track. Gone! Lourdes Gurriel Jr. with a pinch hit, two run home run. And that makes it a 4-3 ball game. Lord is Guriel Jr., who has had some playoff heroics in the past, makes it 4-3. And still nobody out here in this inning, Ronnie Mauricio. It's at hard towards first, but they're going to make the play out number one. That's going to bring up Trout, 0-3 in the game. And he walks. Runner on. Now, yeah, boy Nick. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Here's Senzel. Senzel, two for three in the game. His first two hits of the series. And that's not going to be a hit. It's going to pop out. That'll bring it. Jordan Alvarez now is 0 for three in the game. Hits that down the left field line. That is going to be a long run, but he's going to make the play. But the Mets get two. And they make it four to three. Seth Lugo going to come in here. Where are we at in the order? Top. Turn it. Turn it. There we go. Now we can pitch around Yelich. Or strike him out. Let's go. Top of the eighth we go. Circus O'Hanion coming in. Cincinnati Red. I know he is. Here's Navarro. Hits that one hard to center. Yelich is on the run. He's not going to get there. It's going to bounce up against the wall. Navarro's going to round first on his way to second. He's going to round second on his way to third. He's going to get thrown out by a country mile.
Sorry, chat. <laughs> there are no words. You're down one run in the eighth. You hit a double. You are slow. Navarro's speed is 25. What makes you think you should go to third there? On what planet is a third base coach sending them there? None. None planets. None planets. So here we go to the ninth. Mets down to their final three outs. Sarkis O'Hanion's going to stay in the game. Guira Coach is going to lead it off. He's going to rip that one hard into center. Yelich on the run, though. He's going to make the play one down. Mets are going to have to go to the bench. And Cuba Bess is going to come in here to pinch it. Yes, please. Bess into left field. It's going to be a long run. A dive, and he makes the play. Two down. And here's Mauricio. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, okay. What are what is anybody doing in this series? Trout's been getting on. Let's put Bart in the two. Alvarez in the three. Navarro in the four. Senzel in the five. Sure. Who are we starting? Tristan McKenzie? I mean, it's minimal on his throwing. I need him to start. I don't have any other options. Like, I really don't have any. I mean, it's, I, or I go Dustin May. So what, what's a better option? We go with the strained oblique Tristan McKenzie or do we go with Dustin May? No, I wouldn't start Sonny Gray over Dustin May. Not a chance. Zero percent chance. Oh, May is cold. Oh, man. We're getting eliminated by starting Sonny Gray, aren't we? Are you kidding me? Well, here we go. Chat all or nothing. Game four. Well, we didn't score in the top of the first. And we gave up a run. Awesome. Cool. Good times. Good times. Oh, at least the Reds got beat by the Dodgers. That makes me feel better about myself. Dodgers win the World Series. Cool.
Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this franchise going. I might do something else next week. Um, we'll see. Stay tuned, I guess. Uh, because I really don't know how much longer I can keep being absolutely frustrated. Um, whoa. Nakayama doesn't opt out? We got a new owner? Oh, no. Chat. Oh, man. <laughs> so, right off the bat, new owner, and he wants to payroll around 160. Well, guess what? We already have $184 million committed. Oh, chat. Man, oh man, oh man. Sometimes, you know, for someone who is not contractually obligated to stream this game, I sure put myself through a lot of hell. Like, seriously, like, we're just going to have to dump coal for nothing and hope somebody takes them. Mike Maddox retires. Mickey Morandini's gone. Ooh, the injured list is now 12 days. Sonny Gray's option. <laughs> I mean, goodbye. Obviously, we can't afford to keep you now. So... So there's that. Oh, chat. Anyways, thank you guys for coming by. For those of you who are here for all two hours, it was a lot of fun. Except for the fact that my team sucks and we lost to the Reds in the playoffs again. And honestly, I don't know if I've ever been this frustrated uh, by a franchise before. Even with the Brewers franchises last year, um, there were some rays of hope. And... You know, this is just infuriating. Uh, if you guys stick around, Rich is going to be here in about five minutes. Uh, he's going to be streaming his perfect team uh, stuff, his community-built perfect team. So if you guys want to stick around and uh, and watch Rich stream his perfect team, uh, like I said, he'll be here at the top of the hour in about five minutes' time. Uh, as always, guys, if you're new to the stream, make sure you guys follow the channel right up at the top. Uh, and yeah, uh, if you guys are, are here for the franchise, we'll be back a week from tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern time next Thursday uh, for probably the continuation of my absolute dreaded torture of being a uh, manager of the New York Mets. Because if I was ever going to curse on stream, which by the way, I'm not allowed to do, if I was ever going to, I came awful damn close tonight. Um Anyways, guys, hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, and I will see you guys Monday for a brand new episode of This Week in Perfect Team. Uh, like I said, make sure you guys follow the channel up at the top of the screen. And until next time, keep swinging for the fences.